Hello everyone, today we are going to take a look at command buttons. So this is a button object which we can place on our form and write some VBA in the background to do uh, whatever we want it to do. Um, in this example we're just going to use the button to fill in the values into the text boxes um, that we set up last time. So to create the button um, we click onto the design tab at the top here and then the button option is this one. So you click onto that and then just drag it um, here onto the screen and I'm just going to close out of the wizard because I want to set everything up myself. Um, so over here on the properties um, section under the all tab first thing we want to do is to name our button. So I'm just going to call it command update customer. I like to prefix command buttons with CMD um, so it's easier to know what they're called in VBA later on um, and the caption is just going to be update for now um, so we do have all of the other options that we had before here where we can um, like change the colour of the button um, and you can change the text um, and anything else pretty much um, that you want to do but I'll just move this down here um, I'll leave it grey and the font's fine for now um, for this example. So what we need to do next is if we click on to event we want to tell the button here that when we click it we want to do something. So we click on this drop down and we're going to press event procedure here. Um, there are all of these um, other things that you can do as well so for example when you double click you can do something else or we'll probably go through all of these um, in later tutorials um, but for now it's just the on click select from the drop down event procedure and then click this ellipsis button here which is just going to take us over into the VBA so we've now got a new sub here in our form um, VBA here um, and it's the name of the button and then the on click event there. So what I want to do for now is I'm just going to basically nick this code that we created last time um, and just paste it into here so that instead of when the form loads it will populate those values the form will load and the values will be blank and then when we click the button it's going to populate the values there. So that's it. If I run the form here, let's take a look. So we can see here that these text boxes are blank and I can type into them if I want to. And then when I click the update button, it then populates the fields um, with the values that we told it to fill it in on, in the onclick event. So yeah, that is pretty much it, very simple. Um, if you found this tutorial useful, please like and subscribe to our channel. Uh, feel free to add any comments below. And uh, if there's anything in particular you want me to cover, uh, let me know. Uh, the next tutorial in this series will be changing a command button's caption um, within the VBA here. So thank you for watching.